Hello everyone. Welcome to AVLSI lecture number twelve, part number two. So today we are going to you know derive write the formula for the voltage gain directly by inspection. So this topic is called as gain by inspection. So let's begin. We have already derived the you know the various uh, expression for the voltage gain for various CS amplifiers. That is the common source amplifier with resistive load. Common source amplifier with source degeneration and so on and so forth. So let's start with uh, this uh, term over here. I mean um, this uh, diagram, twelve point one, which is your CS amplifier with source degeneration. We are assuming lambda is equal to zero. So and ignoring the you know let's say the body effect. So what is the gain already given by? We have already derived it equal to minus R D divided by. One upon Z M plus R S, which is nothing but we can write it in terms of numerator upon denominator. So what is the denominator? Resistance seen in the source part. So the denominator term will be resistance seen in the source part plus one upon Z M, right? And uh, numerator is uh, resistance seen at the drain part. So resistance seen between the drain and the AC ground. And uh, in the numerator we see resistance seen. In the denominator we see. One upon G M plus resistance seen between the source and the ground terminal. So uh, I mean the source part we can say. So how can we write the gain formula over here? So right now for finding the gain, uh, yeah, we are representing V in as connected to ground, so, and we are finding the equivalent resistance and looking at this uh, source terminal, keeping the resistor R S intact. So what do we see over here? We see R S, okay. We see R S from here, and from here, if you look into the source terminal, we see one upon G M, fine. So here you see we have one upon G M term plus one R S term together. So this expression will be R S plus one upon G M, fine. I hope it is followed because the gate terminal is connected to the ground over here. And if you look at the source terminal, you will get uh, the equivalent resistance. The the current source between the drain and the source will be uh, equal to given by uh, G M into V G S. Correct? Let me write it here somewhere. So current source is between G M and V G S. Small G M actually. Small G M and uh, into VGS. Okay, so what is the equivalent resistance seen over here? This is a current. So resistance seen will be uh, one upon G M from your current source, right? Between the drain and the source, gate being grounded. So hence we have resistance seen at the source terminal will be one upon G M. And if you see this, these two resistances are connected in series, one upon G M and R S. So hence we have R S plus one upon G M, right? And uh, resistance looking at the drain terminal is R D. Hence, the gain by inspection we can write A V is equal to minus R D divided by one upon G M plus R S. So that's how we, without deriving anything, we can directly write the gain by inspection for this uh, circuit diagram of twelve point one. I hope it is clear. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Now let's do the same inspection for. uh you know ah uh, yeah rd we have already found out right uh, you know the resistance looking at the drain terminal is rd only so that's what we have already taken care of okay now let's do this for this case over here so here the resistance looking at the drain part will be rd and the resistance looking at the source part will be 1 upon gm1 correct considering lambda is equal to 0 so what will be the voltage gain voltage gain will be minus rd Divided by one upon G M one. Okay, so A V will be equal to minus R D divided by numerator, uh, which will be resistance seen at the drain, and denominator will be resistance seen in the source part. Fine. So that's what we are writing over here. Yeah. So resistance seen at the drain will be R D, and the resistance seen at the source terminal will be uh, minus one upon. I mean uh, one upon G M one. So the voltage gain will be minus R D divided by one upon G M one, which will be actually A V is equal to minus G M one into R D by directly we can write by gain by inspection. 
okay and we have earlier seen that for a cs amplifier indeed the formula for the voltage gain is minus gm into rd fine with this yeah so now we have to find uh, assuming lambda equal to 0 calculate the small signal voltage gain of the circuit shown in this three figures 12.1.2 12.1.3 and 12.1.4 okay for 12.1.4 we consider lambda is not equal to 0 okay for all other cases we'll consider lambda is equal to 0 so what is this configuration 12.1.2 anyone it's a amplifier it's a common source amplifier because input is applied to the gate output is taken from the drain but what is the type of source over here yes diode connected load absolutely correct and we have seen that for the diode connected load the you know the equivalent resistance seen at the source terminal is given by 1 upon gm2 plus gmb2 we have used this result before and we are using it again now okay so what do we write over here what is the gain given by gain av is given by minus of resistance seen at the drain terminal divided by resistance seen at the source terminal so what is the resistance seen at the drain terminal over here i mean um, here the drain terminal over here it will be i mean here is the drain terminal of the first transistor right so what will be the resistance looking into this transistor 1 upon gm2 plus gmb2 okay so you can refer the previous lectures and uh, i think lecture number four avlsl lecture number four or five i don't remember exactly but here we have derived this concept before, before okay so yeah so how do we write the formula av will be minus of one upon gm2 plus gmb2 and resistance looking at the source terminal of your m1 will be one upon gm1 we have seen that before so what will be the formula over here av will be equal to minus of one upon gm2 plus gmb2 the whole divided by one upon gm1 okay so hence the gain by inspection for this circuit will be av will be equal to minus gm1 divided by gm2 plus gmb2 i hope you all are following yeah so that what we have completed the voltage gain expression for 12.1.2 let's move to 12.1.3 now if you see carefully 12.1.3 it's again a common source amplifier but with a saturated load right and uh, we have seen that for a saturated load if you consider carefully i think it's not a saturated load it's a triode load yeah i think it's interchanged together this will be triode load and the other one will be the saturated load. sorry for that it's given in the numerical that i mean uh, they will be mentioning it that for this diagram 12.1.3 uh, you have a triode load where lambda is equal to zero so we have seen that whenever it is a triode load the resistance looking at into the transistor will be r on right because it will be replaced by on state resistance and over here the resistance looking into the uh, source terminal of your m1 transistor is one upon gm1 we have already established that so voltage gain will be resistance looking at the drain terminal of m1 which is nothing but your r on 2 because m2 transistor is working as a triode load right a vb is the bias voltage which makes sure that m2 is in the triode load correct so the resistance looking at the drain node will be r on 2 resistance looking at the source terminal will be 1 upon gm1 so what will be the formula av is equal to minus of r on 2 divided by 1 upon gm1 okay so av will be given by minus gm1 into r on 2 fine so this is the gain by inspection for figure number 12.1.3 assuming lambda is equal to 0 so let's move on to the third one so third one we have m2 as saturated load and they have given lambda is not equal to 0 so if lambda is not equal to 0 the resistance looking at the drain terminal of your m1 transistor will be ro1 correct your resistance looking at the drain terminal of your m1 transistor will be ro1 and again you have another ro1 present for the saturated load correct so you will have two ro1 and ro2 which will be are in will, will be in parallel so resistance looking at the drain terminal will be 
RO1 parallel to RO2. And over here, the resistance looking into the source terminal will be one upon GM1 for lambda not equal to zero. So what will be the formula? Gain formula. AV will be equal to um, here we have minus sign missing. I'll put the minus sign over here. So minus of resistance looking into the numerator, I mean uh, into the drain terminal. Let me just see. If, yeah. So what will be the result over here? For a saturated load, if you look into the drain terminal, we'll have RO1 parallel to RO2. So in the numerator, we have minus of RO1 parallel to RO2 divided by one upon GM1. Okay, so what will be the gain formula? Minus GM1 into RO1 parallel to RO2. So that is again, we follow this. We have derived this using two steps by gain by inspection. Okay, so this is how you can calculate the gain of any common source amplifier using in gain by inspection technique. You have to identify the node, uh, the load, which is a diode load or it is a triode load or is the saturated load and accordingly write down the formula. What is the main concept over here? The main concept is this. The AV will be actually numerator divided by denominator, where denominator will be resistance seen in the source part and numerator will be the resistance seen at the drain terminal. Okay, clear about this? I hope it is clear. So let's revise this last time, one more time. So if you are finding the gain by inspection for this circuit 12.1, where lambda is equal to zero. How do we find that? What is the resistance looking at the drain terminal RD? What is the resistance looking at the source terminal? It is RS plus one upon GM because resistance looking into the source terminal is one upon GM. And we are looking at this uh, at, the, uh, at the register RS. So it will be in series with it. So one upon GM plus RS. So AV will be equal to minus RD divided by one upon GM plus RS. So that's the gain by inspection concept. And that's how you can calculate easily for all the common source amplifiers. Okay, you can check it out. So I think that is all for today's session. Today we have covered a very important concept of gain by inspection. So whenever a common source amplifier with a combination of a load is given, you can directly in two steps write the gain formula by inspection technique. So that is all for today. Thank you for joining. Next time we will continue with this topic that is common source amplifier with source degeneration technique. So until then, have a good day and thank you.